Okay, next we're going to do one of my favorite trails at Heartland, and that's Mindbender. We're going to be going what would be considered down Mindbender. You can also climb it too, so it's a two-way black diamond trail. It's uh, very old school. It's a lot of people don't like it because it's very rocky and very rooty. I quite enjoy the challenge of it. We'll see how it goes. It should be pretty dried out. So it's not bad. For the climbing of portion of it, I usually wait for it to be really dry. Because uh, you got to climb some rock and stuff like that. And it can get pretty mossy and snotty. So. But for this run, we're going to go down it and see how it goes. The first portion from the service road is probably not that much ridden because you can actually start the trail off of lumpy pants. And that would probably be the place where most people would start it. So I did post a video last year actually. And that was my starting point. But I thought, hey, we should probably do the complete trail. Let's see how it goes. So we just passed the Lumpy Pants entrance for Mindbender. And we'll soon be getting into doing some little rock walls and stuff. And the first one is coming. Your dropper down. Another little rock wall, you have to do a left hand turn. I don't by any stretch of the imagination try and do this trail quickly. I don't do try and do really any trail quickly, so. It's sort of, it's just technical and you do what you can on it. A little up, punch you up. And to a little rock face down. There's been chatter of for people wanting this to be cleaned up and made more flowy and stuff like that. And I put my two cents in and just said, leave it alone. If you don't like the trail for what it is, old school kind of thing, just don't ride it. There's so many other trails that you could do, but that's just my opinion. And like I said, I really enjoy it. The technical part of it, very rooty. Lots of tight cornering. some punchy ups. It's almost like a continuous rock garden. It's definitely a little drier from the last time I did it. It's still quite doable in the wet. You just gotta be smarter on the roots and stuff. Now we're going to some tight single track where it falls off to the right. So there's a little bit of jeopardy. It's not really steep or anything. You probably wouldn't tickle if you fell, but just keep her going. Try and ignore it. And then you get into a punchy climb into a right hand corner. Which is quite good. Challenging. Got to keep your momentum going. Very good.
Er was een moed en dat aan. En dan is een punchy little up. We got to sort of do a current turn while you're doing it. And another one. That's where the wet will sometimes get you for sure. Around the tree, down the rock garden, tight left turn. Another tight right turn. Just go wide, there's plenty of space. Or some optional rock logs. Kind of close to the end now. Over a big Oop, one more. And there's a little bit of an optional air at the end. Right here. And we're finished. Finish mine bender. Very good.